the purpose of the report that I've been doing with the climate group as a business group is really to say this, this deal at the end of this year has got to be completely different. This has got to be a practical policy makers deal. This is no longer about a campaign to, to tell people climate change is important, something needs to be done. This is about what do we do and how do we do it. And that emphasis on, on the radical but the realistic is, is the key to it, I think. Mr. Blair, ultimately though, is it going to be government or business which will be the definitive accelerator to these necessities? Well, I think, you know, I mean, the 2005 G8 is an interesting example. I mean, first of all, yes, it's true, not all the commitments have been met on development and aid, but many of them were met. Sure. And many countries actually significantly increased their aid and changed policy as a result. But on climate change, that was the other topic back in 2005. And then it was hard to get people to agree even to the long term target. I think we're a, we're a world away from that already. And the key thing is business, business will do this. I mean, what our report shows and what our research with business indicates is that business wants clarity. Now, they want to move sensibly. They want to know, for example, that the developing world, the emerging markets and China and India are in this deal as well. They want to know all of that. But if business is given the clear direction from government, they'll get to work. And in the end, the solutions to this are through science and technology. The key thing is, there are existing things that we could do that we know about, technologies that we can use today that can make a significant difference over the next 10 or 15 years. And then if we invest in things like carbon capture and storage and solar power and renewable power, new generation of nuclear power, then in the time to come, we can meet that long-term target. Finally, Mr. Blair, just from a personal perspective, you would have had opportunities to do several different things since you've left office. And I just wonder why the work with the Climate Group is one that you chose to devote your energies. Everything I do since leaving office is about this one issue for me, which is how do you make globalization work? You know, I believe globalization is a positive, not a negative. I think people get massive opportunities out of it. I think it's great that you, the world shrinks in a sense um, with the technological change, the economic barriers coming down, um, travel, mass communication, and so on, the internet. I think globalization is a positive, but if you want to make globalization work, you have to deal with the shared problems that it throws out. And one of those, one major one of those, is climate change. Thank you.